This is going to be a supplemental video to my um, pressure tank unclogging or un, uh, unwaterlogging my pressure tank. Now this <clears throat> pressure tank I'm showing here uh, is a new one that I don't have hooked up. It's a newer style one um, that might might look like what you have in your basement. Um, this one has an inner uh, airbag, just a rubber sack that um, you fill with uh, <clears throat> air, it exerts pressure on the water at the bottom and um, pushes water out through your pipes. The one I have in service is this older fiberglass tank and it I don't believe has an, uh, a bladder in it. Um, <clears throat> so I think it's just the old style Bell style tank where um, there's water in the bottom there's an air bubble at the top and um, if that air leaks out um, and your air bubble decreases you have a shorter um, amount of time that you'll have pressure available which means your well pump which is here will have to come on uh, sooner more frequently and you can see my the pressure there near 40, it hasn't come on yet, I think it comes on around 30 psi and then that there is my my coarse filter for our well water it's pretty dusty dirty down here um, here's how it goes so you got your well pump, it goes down down the pipe into the well pumps up in here through the filter through a, through a large filter, really coarse filter um, into the bottom of the pressure tank, fills up the pressure tank. Um, as the uh, pressure in the tank increases, um, eventually the PSI goes up on the pump, obviously. The pump shuts off. The issue I was having was that um, this tank was nearly all full of water um, and it was um, causing it to cycle the pump on and off because it would lose pressure so fast because there was hardly any air to compress in there. So I had to unwaterlog it, and I'm pointing at the, uh, it's like a bicycle tire valve um, right there that I had to, um, you can fill, uh, put air through that. Um, I had to drain the tank using that valve. Um, uh, I did drain it a bit um, over here. You can see I got another valve over here. Um, this one, this pipe goes up to the rest of the house. This is the main cold water line to the rest of the house, um, and then that splits off into my hot water and, and my cold water. Um, but it's all pressurized from the same tank, obviously. So what I had to do, <clears throat> I had to um, unscrew the, it's just a bicycle tire cap on there, and um, there was nothing coming out of it, and I couldn't, I couldn't pump it up with a, a bicycle tire pump. I actually had to take it off, unscrew it, and um, uh, punch a hole through it was all um, cal uh, there's calcium buildup or mineral deposits that were completely plugging this hole so once I drained the water I had to open that up punch through with a, basically a screwdriver through all the mineral deposits so, you know, the white calcium buildup um, and then I could um, pressurize it so once all the water has gone then you can um, start pumping air into it and pressurize it up to whatever pressure you want. Um, I forget the numbers. It was in my a blog, 30 psi or, or you know, 40 psi or whatever the. Actually, I think this is at 20 20 psi. Um, it's a little lower. You can, for higher pressure uh, water, you can put it up to I think 30 or 35. I could be wrong, but um, you have to Google that, or I'll see if it's on my blog. Uh, but I think mine's at 20 psi because I wanted a bit lower pressure overall. Um, so once you've uh, once you drain your tank, get all the water out of it, then uh, fill it up to a certain pressure, 20 psi, whatever you want. Um, then you can turn your well pump back on and fill that tank back up with water. And um, what you're doing with the 20 psi is you're putting uh, the air bubble in there, and the air bubble. Uh, it's pressurized to 20 psi, and so that as you fill it with water, the uh, the water will compress the air bubble, and 
um, make its way up to it will compress the air bubble to you know maybe 40 50 psi depending on what you have your well pump set at to uh, engage at um, and then that will provide pressure and is if the air bubble is large enough it will um, allow the tank to keep pressure on the water for a longer period of time so your well pump cycles on and off less frequently which means your well pump lasts longer uh, less wear and tear, less electricity spent and overall uh, better use because your, your, your water in your um, faucets isn't uh, powering on and off and, and the, the flow rate isn't going up and down as uh, you know frequently it gives you more even flow rate um, and pressure as when, you, when you're taking a shower. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, once I once I filled it up 20 psi, you open a valve, you let the uh, the pump fill it back up, and you're good to go. Now with this old tank, uh, I will have to do that every every couple of years probably until it starts leaking. My backup is is this new one which I haven't put in service yet. But when the uh, when the old one fully dies and I can't I can't unwaterlog it or can't restore it or maybe it springs a leak, uh, then I'll put the the bladder one in. Uh, but for now, no point uh, break uh, no point fixing something that isn't broken at this point. So uh, there you go, just a supplemental video to show you what I did uh, with my water tank.